you know, two years in a row, the defense comes out on top. You get to score the final run. Uh, how, how did it feel out there tonight? It felt great, you know, just as a defense being out there. You know, we always take advantage of it whenever we get to go against our offense. So, you know, we had fun out there with the boys, you know, made some plays, you know, really dug in at the end and came out with the win. How seriously, you know, do you guys take this? And, you know, how much pride did you have in two, two years in a row now getting it done? We take it very seriously, you know, it's competition, you know, and especially because it's against our offense, you know, a little bribery or, you know, we get to talk a little smack, you know, to the offense. So, I don't know, we just, we come out here, you know, we get our dogs out, and, you know, we just try to, you know, whip up on them. Yeah, I know that you guys have a lot of fun playing football, but I mean, these are kind of like the final days where you might be just kind of stress-free as you're preparing for the season. I mean, I guess, is that the case? And how much do you kind of just soak up these, you know, two weeks before you really start to get after it again? Yeah, I just look at this as, you know, team team bonding, you know, just a, another way to build our chemistry, you know, even though we're going against the offense, you know, we're still having fun with the offense. So um, I think we got out there and, you know, we did some team bonding today, even though it was in a competitive way. For you, I mean, you know, obviously, I don't say you snuck on the scene last year, but obviously being a freshman, not a lot of people knew what you could do, you know, obviously scoring a couple times and stuff, you know, how, I guess how excited are you to try to follow that up this year? And do you expect obviously to, you know, have, have other teams attention now? I mean, my goal was always to just provide for my team. So, you know, I, I was able to do that last year, but I'm trying to do that to the next level this year. So, um, you know, special teams always comes first. That's my gift to the team. And then, you know, on defense, you know, I have to play my role as well. Kind of a, a fun challenge, though, knowing the teams are going to be trying to scheme, you know, to keep it away from you and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. Um, I mean, if they kick away from me, they kick away from me. But, um, you know, we're only going to focus on our scheme and, you know, we're going to practice against everything, so we're going to be prepared regardless of what the other team does. Is, is it, uh, you know, if you've got 1,000 yards receiving or 1,000 yards rushing, I mean, there's a chance you can go ahead and back that up. But if you're a punt returner, I mean, there's a little chance where they, they just don't kick to you. So is it kind of harder to be patient and, and whatnot is, is it to try, try to contribute again on special teams? It's tough. It's tough, but, you know, if they're not kicking to me, they're just kicking out of bounds all the time. They're going to lose the, you know, field position battle. So, and that's, that's what we want at the end of the day. It's not really about the touchdowns, it's about winning the field position. So if we can do that, you know, it's good money. How, uh, you obviously saw you play more and more cornerback last year too. I mean, how, how have you got better throughout this, this off season and, and how have the, uh, has your playing experience last year helped prepare you for, you know, 14 games in this fall? Yeah, it's preparing me a lot. You know, I'm, you know, I'm able to go out there and you know, see a lot more than I used to see, um, whether it's in the film room or you know out on the actual field. So uh, that experience is definitely good. You know, having that under my belt. You know, just feeling out how it can be in the game versus practice and knowing how I have to prepare. So you know, definitely, you know, it's going to help me a lot. As a defense, you guys lose Layton, but you bring back so much other production. You know, we're gonna have some high expectations for you guys this year. I mean, what's kind of the, the outlook for the defense? And, and obviously, you know, that the games aren't played on paper. You got to go out and prove it. Right. Um, I mean, they, they remind us with that every day. You know, blue collar mentality, and uh, they're gonna prepare whoever's out there, whether it's Layton or whether it's you know the rest of the guys that decided to stay. So, you know, it's Boise State. They're gonna prepare regardless with whoever they have. So, you know, you can expect us to be ready for whoever. He's going up against Brett and PRPs and all that stuff. How have you seen him kind of continue to grow as, as a quarterback? And I mean, is he is he, is he more difficult than ever on you guys, or how, how have you seen him continue to kind of grow? He's grown a lot since I've been here personally. Um, you know, just mentally become stronger. You know, we like to talk smack to him. Used to get to him, it doesn't get to him anymore. You know, so uh, uh, big ups to him. He's he's grown a lot as a quarterback, and I'm excited to see what kind of season he's going to put together.